Hey guys, so I thought I would do a what's in my bag video for you today because this is probably my biggest guilty pleasure on YouTube. Um, I absolutely love what's in my bag videos. But the thing is, my purse is very boring. It's usually a wallet, a book, my car keys, some chapstick, that's about it. So I thought I'd be a little bit different and I'm going to do a what's in my work bag. This is the bag that I take when I go to work. Um, so yeah, it, it should be interesting. Um, by the end of it, I hope you will realize that I don't have a typical part-time college kid job. Um, my job's pretty exciting. But, let's get started. We're going to start with this little pocket right here, because it probably has the most useful stuff in it. The stuff I use every time I go to work, pretty much. And so we're going to start there. Um, this will start with my belay gloves. Um, yeah, I wear these want to belay, obviously, that's why they're belay gloves, I'll put them on for you, they're super sexy, like, isn't that, that's hot, right? Um, so yeah, if you don't know what a belay is, if you've ever been to a ropes course or an indoor rock wall or something like that, they're the person down at the bottom with the harness on that's holding on to you in case you fall, you're not going to go anywhere because I'm holding on, which is why I need gloves because I've gotten some really bad rope burn in the past, and this prevents that, so yeah. Um, I got a headlamp. Super sexy, right? I know. All this stuff, it's, it's attractive. Um, but super useful, super bright. Oh, my batteries are dead. That's probably not good. I should replace those. Um, but yeah, so headlamp because it gets dark. And then this is probably the thing I use the most is my whistle. It's orange. As you probably know, it's my favorite. Um, actually, I don't think you know it's my favorite because I don't think I've ever said that, but orange is my favorite, so it's all decked out in orange. Um, makes it easier to find too. So my whistle. It is a um, mini Fox 40 for those of you who are lifeguards or any other job, have any other job where you use a whistle. It's a pretty legit one. Um, got a name tag. And actually I think this is my old name tag. It is and it's, it's broken. One of the letters broken half. But so name tag. Um, and then the last thing in this pocket is um, a utility tool, I think a utility tool. Um, so it flips open and you got a pair of pliers there. And this one's actually, it's a fishing tool and it's called a turtle. So when you open everything up, that's a little knife and a screwdriver. And this side's a file and I think another screwdriver. Um, when you open it up, it's like a little turtle. It's adorable. So I actually really don't use this one all that much because it's not very useful for me. I do have a Swiss Army knife that I use quite a bit, but it's actually on my keys. So I don't have it in this bag. Um, and then in this little pocket right here, we got my first aid stuff. So we got some Neosporin to go. And then just, I think some band-aids. Yeah, some band-aids. I don't tend to hurt myself that often, but other people do. So I like to have them on me. And then this top pocket is actually a gift from someone and you're gonna laugh and think I'm a hoarder. But it's a little aluminum foil ring that they gave me. It only fits like that finger, but I'm a hoarder, so I kept it. And in fact, I'm going to see it back in this pocket. So, and now on to the big pocket, which is probably the most terrifying of all the pockets. If you can see, it's got... I don't really know what it's got in it. Um, it's where the miscellaneous stuff gets thrown into. So, good luck. Um, we got some hot hands. That's pretty useful. If it gets cold, I don't think I've ever used these. Um, but... You know, in case it gets too cold. And then, I don't know why I have these in here actually, but I have bicycle, they're like normal bicycle playing cards, but they have trivia facts on them. So these are from the 60s, and these are from the 70s. They're called party starters. And I think I went through each of these decks with some friends, and I couldn't get almost any of these questions right. I was obviously not alive in the 60s and the 70s, so I had no idea. But they're really fun, and um, I love the 60s and the 70s, so that's why I got them. Um, I got a book light, because it gets dark, and sometimes I like to read, so I've got a book light. And the headlamp's a little bit bright to read under, um, so yeah. I have some tie-dye duct tape, because you know the plain duct tape just isn't cool enough. Um, I actually think I have another thing of duct tape. This is pink zebra print, I guess, and then one more, some splatter paint, 
why I need three rolls of duct tape in one bag. I still haven't figured out. I think I just buy it and then I stick it in my bag and then I forget it's there and I buy another one. But if you ever need duct tape, which it is very useful, I mean, you can say I've used a lot of that roll. Um, it's useful, but I don't think I need three rolls. Let's see here. Um, I have some lip balm. Um, this I think is actually honey scented. It is. Um, that's probably not the best idea. I have, in fact, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I have matching hand cream, also honey scented. I don't really know why I have these in here because being outside, the last thing you want is something that smells like honey. Um, it attracts all the insects to you. So I feel like that's why I don't really use them that often. But they're in there, so I thought I'd show them. Um, I have a concert ticket. Mm, Music Midtown. Uh, it was back in September. I don't know why I have that in here. Um, oh, I do. I actually took this bag with me to Music Midtown. I cleaned out all my stuff for work, and I brought this bag. So I guess it's just got stuck in there. But yeah, Music Midtown took it. Um, or about a pen, you know, just a normal pen. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, I have some first aid, like medical tape. Um, there. And I've been using this a lot recently. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw that I broke my toe about two weeks ago. It's my first ever broken bone, and I'm not very proud of it. But so I've been using it to tape my toe up. Um, and then, let's see here. Oh, um, this is a giant Lego man. But not just a giant Lego man. As you see, his chest is actually a button, and his feet light up. He's a headlamp. He clips on to a little band. Of course, it was made for a child size head, so it didn't fit around my forehead. So I just clip it onto my normal headlamp. Its batteries are also dead right now. So I hope it doesn't get dark anytime soon while I'm at work, because I'll have no light. I think the book light works. So I'll, I'll walk around with that. Um, just a few more things. I have a, a random patch. I'm not sure why it's in there. Probably just got it and threw it in my bag, and yeah, that's it. Um, I have a box cutter. It's one of the safety ones, so if you like drop it, it, it closes back up and it won't cut you. So that's pretty neat, but I'm not really sure how cool I have it. Cuts things really well though. Um, I have a crochet hook. I told you, bag of randomness. Um, I think I, I have been teaching knitting classes for a couple of years, and I think I was trying to start a crochet class because I can personally crochet. I cannot teach you to crochet. I don't know why. I can teach people to knit, but I can't teach people to crochet. I think it just got left in my bag, and in case you're wondering, it is a nine. Not a nine. Sorry. I'm totally in my knitting. It's a, it's an eye. It's an eye. I don't know why it's a nine. Um, and then this is for my knitting class. For those of you who knit, um, know that if you leave something on the needle too long without working on it, it'll get a little, like, almost like bent, where you can tell where the needle has been. So you can take it off of the needle and put it on these like little saver clips and then just clip them closed and it doesn't leave any marks in your work if you know you're not going to work on something for a few months. Um, so yeah, so I have one of these. Um, and then I have a pedometer, you know, so I know how much I've walked in a day. It's not as much as you would think, which makes me sad, in fact. Yeah. So I should start wearing this more often because I need to get back into, you know, fitness mindset. So then the last two items, I have some Samoa Vanilla Lip Balm, and this is from Girl Scouts, and I don't know if you knew this, but they actually have, I think it's just Samoas, but they have Samoa Lip Balm, and it's like, they have a vanilla, they have a chocolate, and they have a coconut lip balm, and if you wore all three at the same time, it smells like a Samoa. I just have the vanilla, and I think it's gross. And then a memory card, because while at work they have a whole bunch of digital cameras, but for some reason nobody thought to invest in any memory cards for those cameras, so I tend to loan mine out. Um, so I have that in here. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that's in my bag. As you can see, it is now empty. So, and that's my work bag. It's not a typical job. I would hope you would notice that. Um, oh, there's one more thing. A bead. I don't, uh, it's a little eye bead. I don't know. That's it. For real this time, that's it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I would be more than happy to do a what's in my purse video or what's in my school bag video as well. They're just not as exciting or as random. 
so I thought I'd start with this one, but leave a comment below if you'd like to see others. Um, I do have random stuff in those bags as well. Okay, bye guys. See you later.